Brian Slay every afternoon. Uh, he does a, a fantastic job with the zone uh, there, 104.5. Worst fight you've ever been in a locker room before I show you something hilarious. Oh, never had to be in one. Go uh, well, well, in Europe, I almost had to choke slam a coach, but. Um, wow, but, the trust we well over here. No, yeah, I, I, no I, I, and I won't. And the, see, everything was cool. We had got out of He took me out of the game. Um, I was unhappy with it. We got in the locker room. We ended up winning the game. We get in the locker room. And he said something in Italian. And I was like, no, dog, you speak good English. Say it in English so I can understand exactly what you're saying. So I don't miss, I don't miss, re- I don't, I don't, I don't not hear what you, what you're trying to say. And he said something and he took his glasses off. So where I'm from, if you take your glasses off, that means, oh, it's time to get down. Yeah, you're getting right up. Yeah, you, you, you want some, you want some of this. So, I, so, oh, so when he took his glasses off and laid him down, I start walking towards him and people start holding him back. And I'm telling him, hey, no. Let that man go, man. This man grown, man. Let that man go, man. That man took his glasses off. He want to do something. Let him come figure out what he want to do with this bell. You know what I'm saying? So, and that, that was as close as he got. He apologized. It was good after all. That was an awesome story right there. Got <laughs> you just about beat down an assistant or head coach? Frank Vitucci, a head coach. I'll never forget it. Frank Vitucci. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That, w- that could be a vowel. He just Vertucci <laughs> right in the middle of the locker room. All right, so what's this Kentucky fight, Caleb? Do you want to pull this up so we can get Ron's uh, thoughts on this? Yeah, Ron, we got to have a little fun uh, okay. for a minute because uh, did you see the Kentucky football team? Um, Jeremy Flax had been suspended, had not played in the Gator Bowl. We wondered why, and it it turns out new uh, leaked fight happened that shows <laughs> why. I don't know if you guys saw this. Here we go. Let's play it. 18 seconds. That's a bad athlete. Okay, let's cut it there before you get a bad word in there. We've, we've definitely got – we've got <laughs> – you got to cut it before that. We got, we, got one, we got one guy that wrestled in that pair and one guy that didn't. Yeah, because you can tell the guy that wrestled had leverage. Every bit of it, man. Like that was, you know what? Watching that right there, man, just lets me know that, boy, Kentucky, y'all got some work to do, man. Not, not, y'all had some good seasons, man, but yeah, I don't think they can get to that next level. And the reason being the leadership in there, man. Who lets that go on? Who lets that go on? And who who records it and gets it out? That's the whole problem. Like, come on, dog. Where's the leadership going on in the locker room? Ain't no way. I would have made sure I got whoever phone it was if, if I was the captain of that team, deleted that video, and that's staying right here in-house. I'm cool with the fights. You know what I mean? That happens. You're around each other all the time. But we ain't going to put this out on social media, dog. Now, what happened in the locker room, stay in the locker room, that was foolish. And, man, I, I, I don't – me, I don't know how to recover this year from that right there. I will tell you this right here. I would be so upset, and you're right. The releasing part of it is all, is worse than a fight. Josh mm-hmm. Heupel hates fights. He doesn't believe in fights. I think a little bit of fighting in football is actually okay, cool. personally. That's just me. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, when – the fact that somebody would leak this months after, that makes me think that there's a a, a, a portion of the, the roster that's not big Mark Stoops, guys. Yep. Mm-hmm. Anytime you want to put that out, that looks like you don't have control of your team. Like that's that's not a good look at all, man. And moving forward, like with all the controversy of basketball, football, school, this, that, and the other, this right here, I this I don't, I can't see this happening on Cal's watch. You know what I'm saying? So I guess he wins. It's a basketball school. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's a good point. Uh the other thing that gets me is like I'm with you guys, like I'm actually okay with fighting um to a degree, but yeah. I feel like if 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 you're fighting like Ron, like you're if you're involved in any way, you're in the fight either trying to break it up or fighting. Like you're not on the sideline cheering, like not yeah, just that, filming. The other guys were like cheering it on. I'm like, really? Like yeah. you don't cheer on your teammates fighting, right? Yeah, and I'm listen. I'm cool with the wrestling and all that, but as soon as the first punch is thrown, we're breaking it up. Like we come on, man. We brothers in here. We're not hitting each other. Like what? What are we doing out here? Like now. We can clear this thing out, square it off, and y'all get to wrestling and do with everything you want to do. But once you start throwing punches, dog, that 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 ain't bringing us together. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, well, Ron, I always thought the rule wrestling. Was, the rule too with football, with the great football teams that I've covered, and the difference between the bad ones is that the animosity was 
gun the moment you step yep. over the line. It was just like uh, Field of Dreams. You yep. remember Field of Dreams? We stepped over and he disappeared. When you stepped over that line, yep. that issue on the field, or in your case, the court, was done. And if it mm -hmm. wasn't, you didn't have good team chemistry. Yeah, exactly. We used to get into it all the time when we were basketball. You know what I mean? Like we imagine all the hotheads and egos we had on our team, personalities, <laughs> they clash. Like we knew what it was though. Once we walked outside the lines and we got to the locker room, man, this this was up. What we going to eat at? What we partying at tonight? Who house we coming over? Like that's what it was. But out there on the floor, oh, it's a pecking order trying to be established. And I'm not giving an inch. If it's Vincent Yarbrough, Tony Harris, Isaiah, man, Isaiah Vick used to get into it all the time. And that was my one of my best friends on the team. So it's Did, it's weird. So question, because we've all seen the video of your old roommate um, who likes to get slapped in the face before football games. Yeah. Uh, oh, good job. Henderson. Did you did John Henderson ever have you punch him in the face before he went outside to play a game so he could get hyped up? No, he went dead because I would have knocked him out. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you guys going to start? We're, we're, we're deciding we're looking at our <laughs> analytics to determine if we're going to start covering that new. UFC slap boxing. Thing got. I think it's called smack or something. Is, I can't understand it. I don't understand how you put your hands behind the back and let a person just open hand slap you with chalk okay. on it. If you could open hand slap one person from your basketball career and they and you've got the first slap, who is it? Ooh. <clears throat> Golly, that's a tough one, man. Oh. Or do you want to pick somebody from the broadcast um, <laughs> that you've been in? And you don't have to name them. You can just say they were a reporter who did this super role. No, uh, I yeah, I name them. Um, um, Brad Shepard. That's my guy. That's my guy now. He used to write for the Daily Beacon, and he wrote an article my sophomore yeah. year about a slump. He thought he was saying I was in a slump, and I kind of was, but thought we was winning. Like I, I was impacting the game in different ways. You know what I'm saying? But he. He wrote in that uh, my scoring output wasn't what it, what he thought it should have been. You know what I'm saying? And um, I took offense to that, came out and dropped some points and ran on off. So I did want to, like, I – and did I listened. Did you say something to him? Hell, yeah, I said something to him. Right then and um, after the game, after the game I went off, I came in the, um, in the press room and I pointed him out and said something to him. Y'all can thank this game for Brad Shepard, what he wrote in the Daily Beacon. <laughs> nice. That's, you, Ron, that's my guy to this day now, though. I know you picked on the nicest guy on the beat. <laughs> Wait, but Ron did it right. He picked Ron on me. It. I deserve that, not him. <laughs> he but Ron did it though. right though because Ron <laughs> responded to a call up, went out and balled out, and then called the guy out. That's unlike I don't know if you guys remember this, but I'm a Grizzly fan and uh, a guy who used to work at the Commercial Appeal, Jeff Calkins. Uh, Jason Williams took his pen away in the at the end of in the uh, no. locker room after a game one time. Cause he didn't like something that Jeff Calkins wrote about him the day before. So he literally took his pen and he said, you ain't writing nothing homeboy. <laughs> wow. See, that's, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do him like that. Like, <laughs> that's like taking a man's weapon away. You can't do that, man. Take his pen right. <laughs> or, or complete confidence in yeah. himself. <laughs> uh, Brad, Brad, my guy, man, we talked about it one time uh, on the DM and Twitter. And I think we may have even talked about it face to face once, man. But yeah, I told him, dude, you, you struck the match. You struck the match to get me back on track. So um, <laughs> even though I felt like I wasn't off track now, it, it, I mean, you had we had a team full of eight, nine guys that could go get points. I was that wasn't that was the least of my worries scoring. Ron took that personally, is what we're saying. I did. Absolutely. Ron's appearance <laughs> is always brought to you by Dynasty Pools and Spas. They've got that showroom in Athens and they'll deliver to you with all the uh added uh, covers, steps, and all that good stuff. Dynastypoolsandspas.com. They've also got the chemicals that are locally owned. No fillers. They're better than what you're getting elsewhere. Ron, have a blessed weekend, sir. We always appreciate you. All right, fellas. See y'all, man. Go balls.